Aditya has suggested all of you, I will not take much time on it. I know you have understood the concept. Just one question I will take for you to clarify all your doubts. Let's say I need to draw these, this graph. So Aditya suggested x cube gif and from my side I am giving you one more function g of x which is Please draw these two graphs to understand the difference between what happens when you make the fractional part of the whole thing and what happens when you do the fraction part only for x. Very important. If you understand this, then you will be able to solve any complicated graph also. Nobody 
nobody has any iota of doubt also in redefining it. Can I plot it now? Let's do that. X cube, you know. X cube, you know. A, like this, correct? Yes or no? Okay. Which part of the graph I am interested in? Only that part which is between 0 and 1. For the others, I don't care. As I get lost. I don't need you. Okay. Now, this part only will be repeated like this. Yes or no? Yes or no? Understood? Check out this mouse if you have. That 0 to 1 part only that I have to cut and paste, 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 paste everywhere. Understood now? Anirudha? Bottom part? Zero to one part only I need. Bottom part is gone. No, bottom part only. Only the zero to one part, whatever it is. Bottom part only. Huh? No, no, no. Only the zero to one part only. Please. So one final verdict. I'm not going to repeat this again in my life with you. Yes, sir. Other I don't do it. Let's go step by step. Some of them need my help. Okay. Uh, Kirtra, is that clear? I don't know. See, why I'm asking each one of you is because it's important. Had it not been important, I would not have probed you so much. Clear? Okay. Redefining is over, plotting is over. Can now we move on to redefining f of x? I'm erasing this. Yes. Now, listen to the redefining of this very, very carefully because Ananya and especially Anjali, this will clear your what doubts about it. When you say x cube is already between 0 and 1. By the way, when will x cube be between 0 and 1? When x is between? 0 and 1. That means when x is also between 0 and 1. Is there any doubt regarding the connection of these two. Correct. When something is already between 0 and 1, what will fractional part do? Nothing to it. Fractional part will not change it at all. Because if something is already between 0 and 1, it's only in the fractional part. It's just like mod. Mod will do nothing to a positive number, right? So fractional part of something which is already between 0 and 1 will be the same number itself. Yes or no? So can I say, this will remain x cube itself if your x is between 0 and 1. Any doubt regarding the statement which I have written? Show it clear? Okay. Now, next step. If your x cube is between 1 and 2, x cube is between 1 and 2, not x. x cube is between 1 and 2. Then x will be between? 1 and 2. 1 and cube root of 2. Yes or no? If x cube is between 1 and 2, x will be between 1 and cube root of 2, my dear friends. Understood? So, when you are in this interval, what will be the fractional part of x cube then? Something, let's say a number between 1 and 2. Take any number between 1 and 2 in your mind. 1.3. What will be the fraction part of 1.3? 1 0.3. 0 0.3. How did you get that 0.3? Subtracting 1 from your answer. So can I say it will be x cube minus 1 if x were to lie between 1 and cube root of. Does that clarify your doubt, Anjali? Does this clarify your doubt? Shushant seemed to be very quiet today. After Aditya left you. Please don't go, don't go with any doubts in your mind. Acha, Pragna will help me to give the next step. Come on, it's very easy. Huh? When? When? 
on Tuesday. X is yes. greater than or equal to. And uh, less than. Greater than equal to. Two or cube root of two. Aditi, you are also Aditi, right? You are Sudha, yes, Sudha. Brilliant. Are you getting the feel of the problem or not? See, simple. If your x cube has to be between 2 and 3, of course the fraction part of it will be x cube minus 2. No doubt about it. So this result came from there. Now if x cube is between 2 and 3, x will be between cube root of 2 and cube root of 3, isn't it? Common sense? Right? So this is how I wrote. Now, in light of this, if you have to plot this graph, you can keep on going, I don't want to waste time repeating the same stuff. So if I have to do this, how would I do this graph? Let's say again I start with my x cube graph. Uh, by the way, Aditi, uh, just a request, please take notes from somewhere about all the standard graphs and transformations which we have done. I understand this class you feel problem, next class will be calculus which is a fresh start. Don't worry about it. Yes, tell me. So between 0 and 1, can I say this graph itself will be maintained, x cube itself is maintained? Correct. So I am just saying, I am just shading it. By the way, it will match with your y equal to 1 line as well. Now between 1 and 2, let's say I draw y equal to 2 line here. Now this point, as I told, this point will be cube root of 2. This point will be cube root of 2. So when you are between 1 and cube root of 2, you have to draw x cube minus 1. So this part of the graph will drop by how many units? Correct? Yes or no? Similarly, if I draw a line y equal to 3, please note that this point will be cube root of 3. So this part will be dropping by 2. Understood? Understood? What will happen on this side? So this side I know what will happen. What will happen on this side? The part which is between 0 and minus 1, what will happen to it? What will happen to it? Say that. Okay. At least you are trying to say fractional part of something can be negative also, which is not true. Which is not true. Fractional part will always be between 0 and 1. What will happen? Mirror image. It moves up by how many units? One unit. So this guy, this guy, what will happen? It will move up. Okay? So this part, maybe I have drawn a bit more far, so it will be something like this. So this part will move up like this. Is that fine? Which part? Okay. Can I redefine it over here? Let's say your x cube lies between 0 and, sorry, minus 1 and 0. Okay? Something which is lying between minus 1 and 0. Take an example. Minus 0.5. If I say what is the fractional part of it, what will you say? What is that? 0.5 only? Yes or no? Guys, come on. What is the fractional part of negative 0.5? What will you say? Negative 0.5 minus GIF of negative 0.5, right? Which is negative 0.5 minus of minus of minus 1, which is 1 plus minus 0.5, right? So you are adding a 1 to it, right? Yeah. That means your function would behave as x cube plus 1 when your x is lying between minus 1 to 0. So the x cube graph which was between minus 1 to 0 that will get a push up by how many units? 
So this fellow got a push up of one unit. Is that fine? Now will you be able to manage when I am just fraction, when I am just putting curly brackets about x and when you are putting curly brackets around the whole function? Both of them can be managed. I just give a very simple example for that. 